Alright, so uh, today is uh, the 26th of uh, January. It's been about 35 days since uh, Zelda has been here with our sack and now I'm going to be pulling it out. It's not going to be a pleasant experience because it's a pokey. They have, uh, ooh, they have very bad venom. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm uh, going to have to distract her with a uh, ruler. <coughs> she's, she's not happy. She's being a good mother. Okay, I'm shaking my boots because it's really... And that's how you take out a pure gal sack. Oh my god, am I shaking? Oh. Now she's, uh. She's all good now. <laughs> Good noise. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Thank god he's not having any pain. Okay, so that's the sack right now. So, uh. Gonna go get some uh, scalpels and, um surgical scissors and I'm going to move it out and put it on the incubator. So wait for that part. Okay, so right now I'm going to bust the um, paper towels with uh, some water. That way um, the slings will get ample substrate. Just, just enough so it's slightly moist, not too, too wet because that's dangerous. So here's the incubator as you saw in my previous video. So let's see what uh, Link and Zelda brought me. There's a lot of layering in the webs. You to do it? Huh? You're nervous, I can't. Yeah, you want to do it for me? Well, I'll we'll do it for me because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty shaky. After the feet, what I did. By the way, I'm an assistant for Mr. Jonathan. Eh? You might want to take some scalpels. So. Don't you need tweezers? No. From here, it's fine. Like, I forget it from this angle. As you can see, I'm only cutting the top layer of. Well, I wouldn't want to cut any of the babies. That's true. Uh, only the top part of it. Very spongy. Very. Because it's, uh, because it's, tarantula's eggs are so fragile, and you really don't want to cut. This thing's open. Is it just eggs? There should be eggs with legs at this point. Eggs with legs? Yeah. I think I see a gold nugget. Well, that's what they should be. Gold? If they're black, that means that the, the eggs aren't good. We have to separate them. Okay. 
Okay, then what you do is uh, we pull the eggs into the incubator and then we're going to separate them. Oh no, they're white. We're gold. They're white, so that means it's a good egg sack. Gold neck! Gold nuggets! <laughs> I struck ye gold! I struck gold! Gold little babies. Oh, they're eggs with legs! They are eggs with oh, legs. Oh, they're baby, they're moving. They're, they're moving. Are they moving? Yeah. They're moving. Look at the legs. Look, look, look. You legs. put them in here? Yes. Put them all in here. Well, you want me to cut them all? No. Uh, well, no, no, yeah. Make make an opening and then put them all in the incubator. This is sweet. <laughs> Just imagine oh. all babies, baby Zeldas and baby Links. Do you empty the sack or no? Yes, you empty the contents and just remove all the bad, we're going to remove all the bad eggs. There are some black ones there. Okay, some black ones, okay, so those are bad. It's like Rob C. predicted, 35 days and this egg with legs at this stage. Very slowly. Wow, these are big eggs. These are very big eggs, and there's more. And now we're going to have to separate them, just, just to push them. And there's a lot more there in the corner. There's not that many black eggs. No, this is actually a really good sack. I'm surprised. I don't think you should touch them. Yeah. Hmm? No, you shouldn't touch them. Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, just very gently, don't, don't, don't touch them in any way because it yeah. might kill them. You cut, you pull on one side and I'll pull. Some of them look developed, some of them don't. If they're not developed, they won't. Some of them. Well, no, it depends. If I keep them at the right humidity, they will. <laughs> so I can see <laughs> most of them are fully developed into exit legs. Most of them are not, but in due time, it's going to be good. It's actually a really good sack. So I, I, I probably assume there's like 50 to the 70. No. All right, so now all I'm going to do, put them <coughs> in the incubator, close the lid, and hopefully for the best. One,